And coming up next, Robin Williams is an inspirational English teacher in the Dead Poet Society. How can you describe poetry like American Bandstand? Well, I like Byron. I give him a 42, but I can't dance to him. <laughs> Our next movie is named Dead Poet Society, and it stars Robin Williams in a role that is not exactly blindingly original as an inspirational English teacher who urges his students to be individuals and have the courage to express themselves. The Williams teaches in an exclusive Vermont prep school where he upsets years of tradition by ordering his students Rip to tear out a school book chapter that he disagrees with. Come on. Rip it out. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dalton. <laughs> Gentlemen, tell you what, not just tear out that page, tear out the entire introduction. I want it gone. History, leave nothing of it. And he takes a very direct approach when he urges them to see things from a new perspective. See, the world looks very different from up here. You don't believe me? Come see for yourselves. Come on. Well, come on. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. Now, when you read, don't just consider what the author thinks. Consider what you think. Uh, boys, you must strive to find your own voice. Williams gives a generally good performance, but I could have done without this scene, which comes uncomfortably close to the comedian's nightclub persona. Now, many of you have seen Shakespeare done very much like this. Oh, Titus, bring your friend hither. <laughs> but if any of you have seen Mr. Marlon Brando, no, but Shakespeare can be different. France, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Let me rest. You can also imagine maybe John Wayne is Macbeth going, Well, is this a dagger I see before me? And the problem is it suddenly looks like Robin Williams there instead of like Mr. Keating, the English teacher from 1959. Dead Poet Society is one more recycled version of the ancient movie formula about the war between rebellious young people and hidebound authoritarian adults and the one good teacher who's on their side. There's nothing in this movie that hasn't been done before and great large sections of it seem to have been inspired by the classic American novel A Separate Piece by John Knowles, which was also made into a movie. As for the brilliant but eccentric teacher played by Robin Williams, he seems to and modeled himself after all of those other great movie teachers, from Mr. Chips to Miss Jean Brody to Professor Kingsfield. We know that free spirits always get shot down on these movies, and so even the so-called surprises are predictable. The movie has a scene of tragedy that's supposed to be moving, but I didn't see it as a spontaneous act of despair. It seemed more like a requirement of the plot. And when the beloved English professor gets in trouble, somehow I just knew that his students were going to stand on their desks in protest just like he told them to. This is a movie about a man who says, dare to be different, and I wish the movie had taken the same dare. I liked it more than you did. I um, uh, had a problem with what I consider the same thing, this formula ending and the tragedy that's going to resolve uh, as a kid is caught in the tug of war between the liberating teacher and the restrictive parent. Um, I, I think that when that happens, and I was with the picture up until that point in its spirit, even as familiar as the material may be, it, moved, it mm -hmm. did move me. Mm -hmm. And it did, uh, I, I guess I enjoy seeing kids in, being inspired. And I bought the performances. I bought actually the performances of the kids mm -hmm. much more than I bought mm -hmm. the performance of Robin Williams. And when he wasn't on the screen, I didn't really miss him that much. Yeah. I, I thought that they had a, a, a good community there and I enjoyed watching that. Then the formula of the uh, ending, uh, the way it has to be with one kid suffering for being liberated, that it was just too formula for me. Well, I like the picture and I'd recommend... Uh, you would recommend it. Was, it. Yes. I, I, I won't recommend it and the reason I won't is that they didn't really try to do anything different here. I agree with you, the kids give pretty good performances. Yeah. But at the beginning I thought, gee, they're going to try to do this differently. They're going to leave out all of the big telegraphed uh, uh, mm -hmm. characters and uh -huh. you know where they walk onto the screen and you know what their whole fate is going to be. I thought they were going to try to do that and then they didn't. They just really did just take it right out of the textbook in terms the of how these movies are always made made and I guess always will be made. Well, um, you, you know, you put it in some pretty good company with some of these other uh, teachers that you talked about. Um, I think this is a, a small little film that I think we're seeing, but not for the formula way it ends. Coming up next, Let's Get Lost, the story of the ill-fated jazz great Chet Baker.